book review time. So I have just finished uh, Mist, the Book of Atrus, 30th Anniversary Edition, and I thought I would share some of my thoughts on the book. So um, get the TLDR out of the way. Yeah, it's pretty good. If you're a fan of Mist, if you're a fan of Riven, like if you've played Mist and Riven, because it's it's it basically takes you up to it's all set before the start of Mist, okay? And it takes you up to the point where Gen is trapped in Riven, the Mist book has fallen into the Sea of Stars, Atrus and Catherine and Cirrus and Akinar, who are children at this point, are living happily on Mist with Anna. And um, so that that's the point where the book ends. Spoiler alert, right? But, um, but it gives you some really great backstory into the childhood of Atrus, how he was sort of raised by Anna and then raised by Gen and then realises that Gen is not kind of the guy that he sort of says he is and then sort of hatches this plan for the benefit of the multiverse, I suppose. Um, it's, you know, it's not high literature. It's very easygoing for sure, right? So it's it's not going to be a contender for entry into the Western canon of literature anytime soon, but that does make it a very easy read. It looks a sort of intimidating length, but it's, you know, the pages are thick and the font is is very large. So um, it's, it's really not a long read at all, at about 300 pages or so, and they're very thick pages with thick font. In terms of the quality, so this is print on demand, um, which is great for um, Cyan, of course, because it means that they are um, not having to stock hundreds of thousands of copies of books that might not sell. Um, there are a couple of points in the print quality. Hey, Justy303 just resubscribed for eight months. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, there are a couple of points in print quality which um, are a little bit unfortunate, notably the pictures, okay? So in the book, there are these pencil drawings of, um, which I assume were done by either Rand or Robin, um, and, and it's to help you sort of visualise the world and stuff. So there's like maps of Kavir and maps of... Um, you know, the, the, the place where Atrus grows up with Anna. But they, they really haven't come out very well in the printing, right? So that, for example, is supposed to be a picture of a cat. Um, it's, it's pretty rough in the printing, to be honest. But aside from that, and some minor kerning issues with the typeface, but those are pretty minor, to be honest, um... You know, the print quality is very good. The, the, the book is... It's solid. It's solid. And it looks really nice. Um, it actually reminds me, weirdly, a bit of Dune in places, right? There's this bit right at the start of the book where Atrus has never seen rain clouds before and, and he gets sort of scared by this thunderstorm and stuff. And given that the book is orange, <laughs> I was a little bit like, wait a minute, what, what am I reading here? Um... The book is sort of split into three acts, right? So act one is Atrus living um, in the desert with Tiana, okay? And that's kind of a pretty... It's a pretty slow start. It's a pretty low burn, to be honest, right? And I, I, I was struggling with the first couple of chapters on this. When Gen turns up to take Atrus and, and raise Atrus as a teenager... Um, the book really picks up, and that's where most of the lore comes from as well. So Gen is explaining to Atrus, and thus us, the reader, about descriptive books, about linking books, about the Denise civilization. You go to Kavir. I really hope that in a future game, because we've not been to Kavir yet, we've not been to Denis yet in-game, I really hope that we do get a chance to visit that in a future game at some point. There's still a few missed games that we've obviously not played yet, um, and I hope we do get to see those. So Act 2, my favourite act of the book, because I really love the... Um, I really love the kind of... the mechanical aspect of... well, you've got to take a linking book with you whenever you link to a descriptive book, because otherwise you could get stuck there and things like that, right? And uh, 
and and when they're talking about like the ages of mist later on it's because well when you write a descriptive book on mist rather than on Denis you know those are those linking books are going to link you back to mist they're not going to link you back to Denis which of course you experience in the first game so second act really good the third act in honesty I felt was a little bit rushed I'm not going to spoil the end exactly, but it is a little bit like, it's a little bit deus ex machina at the end. There's like a twist at the end, which is a bit like, oh, yeah, okay, I, I guess. Um, but like there was no foreshadowing to it at all, so you just kind of have to accept it. Um, so the, the end was a touch disappointing. Um, uh, but, you know, it, it gets all the pieces in place that, that need to be, you know, it gets all the people where they need to be for the start of the first game. So there was probably going to have to be a little bit of a conceit to narrative structure to be able to do that. So um, so I, I, I'll, I'll give them the benefit of the doubt in, in that thing. Um, the, the third act, I feel, could have been a bit longer, but I really did enjoy the final showdown between Gen and Atrus. I thought there was a really great moment of kind of, you know, it's it's the Darth Vader Luke Skywalker on the top of Cloud City moment when Atrus, where Gen is like, I didn't mean what I said before. You know, I was just angry. Just, you know, uh, uh, please forgive me or whatever. And Atrus makes the, the choice that he's like, no, you're lying. I'm not going to trust you, right? And um, and that was really good. That that was possibly my favourite section of the book. So uh, yeah, overall, that's that's my that's my review of the book of Atrus. I really enjoyed it. I don't read very much, so I I I am woefully underqualified to give any kind of literature review. Um, but the fact that I read the whole thing is a pretty good indication that it's quite good. Because I read like two books a year. All right. <laughs> now, I think we're probably actually going to be doing a giveaway on, on a copy of um, The Book of Atrus at some point. Because, coincidentally, I got bought two copies. I put it on my Christmas wish list and I got bought two copies because um, Amazon wish lists are a bit like that in places. So, um, yeah, I might actually um, go and give the second copy away um, as a giveaway at some point. So um, keep an eye out for that. Probably probably next, uh, probably next milestone, like uh, the 250 subscriber milestone or something. Yes, if that has convinced you to read the book, that's great. And uh, yeah, that's going to conclude my review for the Book of Atrus. Thanks very much for listening.